If you liked the on-screen b-ball action of Space Jam and New Legacy, then you'll like the different ways Hasbro has incorporated the movie into two of its classic games, Connect Four and Monopoly. If you like to play games, then click subscribe below to see more game reviews. Connect Four Shots takes a basketball approach to the classic game of four in a row. Instead of dropping discs into the game grid, you launch them. And they're actually not discs, they're basketballs. One player is the Toon Squad and takes the blue balls, and the other player is the Goon Squad and takes the purple balls. At the count of three, both players start launching their balls at the same time. If a ball falls onto the table or floor, pick it up and launch again. Once the ball is in the grid or the ramp, no one can touch it. Once you have two balls sitting in the grid, you can grab your metallic multiplier ball and shoot it. That counts as two balls, so if it connects to two other balls, then it counts as four in a row. Keep playing until one player gets four in a row or you both run out of balls. In that case, it's time for a tiebreaker with the silver ball. The first player to launch the ball into an open space in the grid wins. This definitely requires more skill than a regular game of Connect Four, so expect a learning curve to get started. Balls will be flying everywhere. But that's going to appeal to basketball fans who want to put their skills to the test and pretend like they're LeBron James. The game is for two or more players ages eight and up. Take three shots every time you pass go in the Space Jam A New Legacy version of Monopoly. That's not the only thing different. Money represents points, and you win the game by earning the most points. To get points, you must recruit Looney Tunes characters and take shots at the basket. Other players don't pay you rent, they give you bonus points. And you can add stamina and speed upgrades to your characters for even more points. There's space in the middle of the game board for the basketball hoop and launcher, along with hoop and power-up cards. And you get to play as characters from the movie, including LeBron James, Lola Bunny, and AIG Rhythm, aka actor Don Cheadle. It would be nice to see more familiar Looney Tunes characters in this lineup, but that's minor. Who's your favorite Looney Tunes character? Tell me in the comments. Basically, the rest of the game plays in a similar fashion to traditional Monopoly. Roll the dice, move your character, and follow the rules for whatever board space you landed on. The game board is filled with familiar Looney Tunes characters, plus familiar Monopoly spaces such as go to jail and free parking. I think fans of the new movie will appreciate how basketball is incorporated into the gameplay. Because of the new rules, you'll probably want to read through the instructions first before you sit down to play. But the basic premise is the same, so it shouldn't be too hard to get the hang of it. The game is for two to six players, ages eight and up. Let's talk about the pros of Connect Four. It's a test of skill, it incorporates basketball, and it'll be fun for fans of the movie. I don't really have any cons, so I give it four and a half stars. The pros for Monopoly are basketball is part of the gameplay, you can play as favorite characters, and it's a new way to play classic Monopoly. My only con is that it would be nice to play as more familiar characters, but I still give the game four stars. If you liked this toy video, you'll find more when you follow us on TikTok at The Toy Authority.